Namaste everyone. Welcome back to my channel Awaken with Pradnya. And from this video, I'm going to start a very, very interesting topic when it comes to your twin flame encounter and your twin flame experience overall. And that is the runner chaser dynamic. There are many, many, many different perspectives of different people. Some people do not at all believe that there is anything which is called runner chaser dynamic in a twin flame connection i do believe it myself because i have gone through that particular experience of running and chasing in this particular connection so i do feel that yes it does exist there are a lot of things which i have learned about this runner chaser dynamic in my own journey which i am going to share with everybody in different videos in this runner chaser dynamic series and in this video, I am going to talk about the main traits of the runner twin flame. Now, before I begin, let me urge all those who are watching my video for the first time that please subscribe to my channel and please click on the notification icon so you can start getting notifications about my videos. And I do make videos on twin flames and spiritual awakening and ascension process based on my own journey and my own experiences. I also take one-on-one -on -one sessions for all those who really want to have some sort of a personal assistance or a consultancy which is related to your twin flame journey or your spiritual awakening and ascension. All the information about my one-to-one -one sessions is given in the description under this video. There is something different coming up next month, 7th April. I am going to have twin flame meditation. Basically helps you to connect with your twin flame by opening up your whole chakra system. I feel as, as a collective, if we are sitting together and doing this meditation collectively, it is going to be really, really very powerful when it comes to the twin flame collective energy and this is going to be a free zoom meditation so anybody who is willing to participate in this meditation please send me a mail on my email id my email id will appear on the screen all those who are not very well versed in english if you are watching this video you need to access the wheel icon which represents the settings in your video and you need to select automatic translation which also allows you to select the language of your choice so if you are selecting a language of your choice you would be able to get subtitles in your own language and that might help you to understand a bit better if you are not well versed in english so welcome to my channel once again and let's start the video now when i say a runner twin flame let me make it very very clear these labels whatever we are using as runner or a chaser these labels we are only using to describe the state of the mind of that person being a runner or being a chaser is definitely not a role of that person it is the state of mind of that person where that person is standing in this connection so never mistake this label runner or a chaser as a permanent role if today you are a chaser, there is a possibility that there is some sort of a mind block which comes in your mind and you start running from the connection. So in that case, you also would become a runner. There is a very, very interesting thing I want to share about twin flame runner's mind state. They also go through certain stages. So the first stage is complete denial. So even if they have felt that connection with you, very very intensely there is a big denial inside their heart even if any sort of a thought which is coming in their mind which tells that yes there is some sort of a connection with this person their ego their logic their physical mind is completely denying it and because of that denial they are completely running away from you so that is the first stage denial second stage is realization so they start realizing in their own heart that there is indeed something in this connection and there is some sort of difference the way they feel about you and they start realizing that. So when they are getting in the process of realization, they are realizing it, but they are not accepting it to themselves. In their physical ego, their logic will start denying it. So they are not accepting it. 
so they come from denial to realization and after a certain time after they progress a bit more they also start accepting that connection in their heart even though they have accepted that connection inside their heart they will completely show that they are not into you if they don't care about you they will go out of their way to show you that they are not into you or the interesting thing in this particular stage of acceptance where they have understood they have accepted that connection in their heart somewhere whenever you are connecting with them in a brief period you will start realizing that oh okay they are realizing something you can't really pinpoint what but you feel that there is some sort of a shift happened in them they don't want to say it but they are feeling it and the fourth stage is that they confront that feeling to you so they do arrive at a stage where they have been running but they do come to you and they do confront that particular feeling to you that yes i do feel and i do accept that that there is something you know there is some sort of a connection between us after confronting that they may again run because the reason for their running is completely different but they would definitely arrive at the stage of confronting that connection with you so these are the main four stages of the runner's mind state complete denial realization inner realization self acceptance and confrontation you can figure out for yourself that if your twin flame is running at what stage your twin flame is at and it would be a great uh, introspective moment for you another very great thing i want to share with you all is that as we are in the initial stages of this journey we are really annoyed we are devastated we are in pain but the more we start getting progressed in this journey and we start realizing that oh there is a certain pattern which is unfolding in my life and my twin flame always comes back and there is some sort of a connection and disconnection cycle and there is something very interesting unfolding every time they connect back and every time they again separate and somewhere you start also enjoying that process i mean if you ask me on my journey whenever i started realizing that there was some sort of a pattern unfolding there is something definitely bigger than what i am anticipating is at play i really started enjoying this journey and i think we all can actually start looking at this journey as a great great learning experience and a very positive experience so to start with i am going to list out all the behavioral traits of a runner's mindset so the first behavioral trait of a runner is that if they are around you physically they will try their best to show you that they are not into you they will not even look at you they will try their best to show you that they are completely looking somewhere else or they are talking to somebody else they will show you that they don't care they don't know you they don't recognize you and they are not at all thinking about you if you are having any sort of a online expectation that they should initiate any sort of a conversation when they are in the state of runner's mindset they are never ever going to initiate any sort of a conversation with you unless they are beyond that acceptance stage i just discussed so only exceptions when they would initiate a conversation will be with some sort of a divine intervention when you or them have overcome some certain milestone and you are supposed to absolutely connect with each other and there is something which is supposed to be happening in your connection in such sort of a scenario they will be guided by their spirit team to contact you but otherwise they are not going to initiate anything with you third behavioral trait is they want to know everything about you when once once they connect if there is some sort of a communication happening you approach them and there is some sort of a communication happening between you two they will ask or they will want to know everything what is happening in your life what are you up to are you seeing somebody or are you happy what is happening every small detail of your life they want to know but if you are trying to ask them anything which is happening in their life most probably they are absolutely reluctant to tell you anything which is happening in their life the fourth behavioral trait is they will receive your emails they will receive your messages they will see your whatsapp status your instagram stories they are pretty much accessing things which are 
broadcasted by you or are sent by you but they will not reply to anything even though you are sending them a personal message or a personal email come what may they have this policy that they are not going to reply you if at all they reply to anything what you are sending it is going to be mostly just like a emoji just a smile or some a thumbs up or some two word reply okay fine one line reply and you will actually start feeling that as if you are literally talking to a wall they will tell you in the tone of warning you that you are not supposed to contact them so you will start feeling devastated that okay he is not really willing to talk to me and he does not want to want me to contact him but at the same time whenever they initiate a contact they start talking as if nothing has happened in between everything is fine as if they have been always talking to you on a daily basis whenever they are initiating the contact it is as if nothing has happened but if you start making that contact they will warn you not to contact them another very great behavioral trait of a twin flame runner if they anyway start sensing that you are not chasing them anymore they haven't received anything from you for a long time and they start wondering what are you up to that time they will start initiating the contact only when they feel that you are not chasing them anymore that time they will come to see what what is happening with you the seventh behavioral trait is that once they know that you are there and you are replying them and asking them what are they up to once they know that you are there and you are replying them they will again vanish they will start ghosting you by putting you in this dilemma that okay i had not initiated this contact this guy was the one this guy or a girl was the one who started initiating the contact and once i am replying this guy is again vanishing so once they are knowing oh this person is still there they will ghost you another very interesting behavioral trait of a twin flame runner is that they will block you on a social media but they will not block you on one social media platform either of any of one social media platform where the communication channel is open between you both they will definitely not block you everywhere well in extreme cases there are twin flames where they are blocked everywhere but normally whatever i have seen around there is one channel which is always open if at all everything else is blocked another very funny behavioral trait i have observed is that if you start talking anything negative about your connection or you start making fun out of it like for example i can give my own example my twin flame once told me that even if he comes to dubai he won't be able to meet me because his wife is going to be all, all, along with him so i smiled at him i made that whole statement as if that okay it was a fun statement okay what can i do if you can't meet me so i smiled and he was so annoyed to see my smile and he very annoyingly asked me how can you smile how can you laugh why are you not going to meet me please meet me so i didn't have that sort of a reaction so if you are not reacting in a way where our connection is evident they get upset but they will never state anything which actually says something for our connection or towards our connection another very amazing behavioral trait is that whenever they want to contact you they will contact you to say something so that it is evident that they are warning you that we are we are separated and they are not the ones who are initiating the contact so like for example my twin flame would contact me and tell me i know that you are you have arrived in the town but please make sure that you don't contact me so he used to tell me that i should not contact him but to tell me that i should not contact him he used to contact me and he used to initiate the conversation now i want to discuss the emotional traits the runner state of mind is extremely logical so they are always operating from their logic when the chaser is operating from their heart so the when when you when you are in the state of the chaser you are operating from heart when you are in the state of the runner you are operating from your brain and everything including your logic and your ifs and buts and your doubts your fears everything is controlling your thought process and that is why you are landing up in the mind state of a runner 
second thing is they runners struggle to deal with their fear big time fear of everything fear of this connection is too good to be true they can't really accept this connection because they can't believe that something so great can happen in their life that there is really somebody in their life who loves them so much fear of not being worth you so lack of self worth getting themselves blocked by what other people say they getting themselves blocked by their social conditioning getting themselves blocked by their social status their financial status their job status their marital status all these third party factors which are there around them either all of them or some of these third party factors are influencing their state of mind a lot and that is why they are in this in this denial of this connection another emotional trait in this connection for some people not everybody they feel that they are the one who are controlling this connection because they are the ones who are coming and going right you are always there as a chaser they are the ones who say that okay i don't want to speak or don't contact me and then they vanish and they come again in your life whenever they want so they feel that this is how it is then uh, emotionally or spiritually when they start awakening they are definitely not going to confront you that they are awakening because they don't know the bigger picture so they cannot really articulate what exactly is happening to them and it also depends at what stage they are when they are awakening so if they are in the realization stage obviously they are not going to come and tell you that they are sensing this connection or awakening to some bigger reality or anything of that sort and even if they are in the state of confronting to you that they definitely do sense this connection not necessary that they will be confronting each and everything they are realizing to you maybe some parts they will still not tell you especially the awakening part another emotional trait of a twin flame runner which we all keep wondering how are they able to execute that particular trait is being emotionally detached and determined to be separated because they are also going through the same feelings which you are going through they definitely do have feelings for you but they are very very logical so they can absolutely have this policy that if we are not supposed to talk means we are not supposed to talk and they are able to really carry on that decision for prolonged periods of time if it comes to chaser we are even if we decide oh we i am not going to talk to this person maybe two days three days maximum four days you can carry on with that decision fifth day you will start melting you will feel okay let me send a message to this person again but when it comes to runners they are extremely logical and they are very very good in detaching themselves emotionally i mean we all should learn it from them actually so these are the emotional traits now i also want to talk about the divine traits of the runner um, as we are in this dynamic of a twin flame connection and somebody is in the state of mind of running there is also some sort of a divine intervention in that particular dynamic which is happening so it becomes very important for us to understand what those divine traits are there are two divine traits of twin flame runners one is that they keep coming back to you exactly at the time they are supposed to be back in your life either you have reached some sort of a saturation point or there was really a need for them to show back show up again in your life either for themselves or for yourself but eventually you will start feeling that when they came back and when they showed up that was the perfect time for them to show up so that means they are spiritually being guided when that contact happens maybe with their initiation or without their initiation but that contact happens so this i feel is a divine trait of a twin flame runner and another very very great trait of a divine runner is that their sudden presence sudden appearance in your life or their sudden disappearance in your life triggers certain emotions inside you or trigger certain shortcomings which you need to overcome those triggers will actually put you on your spiritual path so even though they are not consciously aware of how their uh, reactions are transforming you in your life but subconsciously they are carrying that role of triggering you in some way 
which brings some sort of a awakening inside you which is able to transform you in some way so these are the divine traits of the runner state of mind so i think whatever i discussed might help you to identify certain things which are happening with you in your journey in my next video which is related to runner and chaser dynamic i am going to discuss about why your twin flame runner will not initiate the contact what are the reasons for a twin flame runner not to initiate a contact with you then please take care of yourself and see you in the next video